Welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name's Ruben. I'm a sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. This is a 2001 Bayliner 2052 Trophy walk around. She's powered by a brand new in 2016 Mariner four stroke 150 horsepower outboard motor. Now that model is bang on unchanged even today in 2022 so it is very very new high tech you've also then got a mercury four stroke outboard auxiliary engine and then underneath that you can see there are trim tabs when have you seen that on a 20 foot cuddy boat this has a huge very very big and generous spec you've got your vhf aerial here that is the gps unit for the onboard gps now it is a walk around so that means of course we do have full walk around access great if you and some of your friends are out doing a spot of fishing, you can drop the anchor down. That was brand new as well, with chain and rope. Take a seat and cast away. Now you've got this very high guardrail that goes around the full way of the walk round. Two midship cleats as well. And then your full canvas enclosure. Ultimately, it is designed for offshore fishing. These are very, very popular in the United States. Not that many of them came over here, but let's take a little look inside. So the first thing to pay attention to is the volume of floor space that you have. You then have your elevations on either side, just so you can get up onto the walk around. Now, both of the back panels or the back cushions were reupholstered very recently. Behind that is your battery isolator. But you can see how this lends itself very well to fishing. You've got your fishing rod holders here and here. Also, rod storage there, more rod storage there look you can really get your handle all the way back in again perfect what you would probably do is you take the canopies off or the after the sorry the, the side sections off and then you would drop in your six pot horsepower auxiliary turn this off and just tick over away and you control you've got four rods in the water at any one time now you've also got wet lockers so you've got one on both port and starboard and you can see in there that is drained so you can put dead bait fish anything that's going to get smelly you can put it in there then you do have deck wash so you can use that there clip in a hose and what that will do is it means you can use raw water to wash down the entire non-skid deck area we've got an aerated live well for any of your live bait that you want to put in there that just runs from the water outside the water source outside then you've got your twin helm position so you've got navigator and you've also got captain and the captain has a great array of instruments and navigational features in front of them so what have we got first and foremost we have our trim tabs then you do have your smart craft gauges both of them there you've got a garmin echo map so it's got a fish finder on board and the transducer with sonar so it'll pick up the depth underneath you you do have your cobra marine gps and then we've also got a garmin chart plotter as well for any of those offshore ventures because of the shape of it, it does handle quite well in the sea and obviously you do have this full canvas enclosure which means that you can effectively go for as far as the boat will really take you or as far as you'll go you'll tend to find that you'll chicken out before the boat does. Let's take a little look downstairs in the cuddy. So it will sit at least four or five people but it will really accommodate two adults in comfort once the table has been dropped down. Now you do have your overnight accommodation. If you've got the rods casted out the back, you can come in here and get out of the rain or get out of the elements. There is also space underneath that to put a portable head should you want to do that. I know that's quite a big thing for some people, especially the ladies. Up at the top, we do have a stereo system and then you've got your escape hatch lightings, uh, your lights and then both of your portholes. Comes with a, an American trailer. And a brand new engine in 2016. And it really is super for those looking to get out in the water with a reliable engine. It has done under 100 hours. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland. We're fun in the water. Begins.